Hello everybody. It's been forever since I've made a video. Just haven't really been doing a whole lot of interesting stuff lately. Been a busy year. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody wants to hear it, I'm sure. Anyways, I see I'm up to almost 450 subscribers. I'm very proud of that. I just want to take a moment and say thanks for the subscribes and the likes and even thank you to the haters who I used to have such an issue with. Hey, they're still viewing the video. That's still getting me views. Apparently, from what I hear, the YouTube algorithm, thumbs down, thumbs up, doesn't really matter. Either way, just as long as someone interacts with the video, it's a plus. So, big shout out to everybody. Haters and the lovers. But I'm doing fine. It's been a busy year. And today I'm going to attempt to make a video, which is probably going to be very low quality, but hopefully it's helpful. I get this question all the time in the comments as to where how to find parts numbers and where to get parts for these lawn mowers. Mostly, mostly this video for this solenoid to this mower. But um, in general, I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you how to get parts for stuff. But before we start trying to get parts, we have to have a model number to take online. So I'm going to go through here and show you where, I'm going to go through it kind of quick. I've got most of my equipment set out to where we can see the model numbers. And we'll go through it quickly and I'll show you where to find model numbers. So let's start with the easiest. Mariyama Weed Whacker. It's right there obvious, BC200. And there's your serial number right there with it. Notice the first two digits are 91. Does that mean this thing was made in 91? I don't know. Interesting thought anyways. Mariyama Leaf Blower. The sticker is still on the top of it. BL32. And it says it on the side over here too. BL32. That's your model number. Steelweed Whacker. FS56RC and there's another sticker on the bottom which this is going to be upside down in your video but just to give you a location of the sticker that's the bottom of the weed whacker and right there you can see FS56RCE Z bush cutter auto cut 25-2 that is my model number for that, although you probably don't need to input the whole thing. So now on to what everyone's probably been wanting to see, because this is the thing I get the most requests about, is this lawnmower. This Craftsman, I did a video on a solenoid, and everybody wants to know what, what the model numbers are, what the part numbers are. Of course, I don't remember, that video was made three years ago, the parts number is long gone. But here's how you can find it yourself. Now, these are a bit of a misnomer. Notice this LT1000. This is not a model number. Craftsman made many tractors for many years with that same designation. So, what you'll do to find your model number on this tractor, go back to your seat, flip the seat up, and you'll have a sticker back here. Hopefully yours hasn't come off. They commonly do. I just set this here for the video to show you where it goes. But right here in the middle, obvious, model number. Right? Okay, so. So you're looking for that solenoid. That model number may or may not get you to that solenoid. So you will need the engine model number. So I will show you where that is at. If you look right here. Damn, you can't see it for the shadow. There we go. This is your model number. 3C707. Type. And that's your code. With your... The first two digits of the code are your year. It's hard to see on this one because it's dirty. But 03, it's when this mower was made. A little hint if you're shopping for lawn mowers. But that's the OHV Briggs engine. They're different. For other engines just for an example I'm just going through and I'm just pointing out examples here so you'll have an idea of where to look what to look for for your model number on this Tecumseh it's gonna to be really hard to show probably will never be able to see it 
But right there's your tag with your model number on the Tecumseh, if you can see it. And I'll get a picture of the front of the engine, which is severely dark. But it's basically on the blower cover up under here. It's hard to get to. Well, that's your model number for a Tecumseh engine, although I've had lots of good luck on Tecumseh's just 10 horsepower generator engine. Tecumseh's are pretty much all the same, which, I don't know, you probably won't run into a whole lot of them because those engines have about went the way of the Dodo Bird, Briggs, and Kohler have taken over. Although Tecumseh still has a bit of a hold on the snow thrower market, I do believe. But it's, I couldn't find the... I didn't want to dig it out, but it's probably there somewhere. Let's see, chainsaw, this one's obvious. Model 1950. Doesn't get no easier than that. There's another tag right there that has various numbers that may help you if 1950 isn't specific enough. And again, we'll go to the snapper. Again, this has a newer overhead valve engine. And the numbers are in the same place as the Craftsman. Oops, that's upside down. Sorry, folks. See, 21R772 is your model number. And again, you have your code. 2014, when this engine was manufactured. I bought this engine new for this mower. And so, for the model number on this mower, we will go up under here. It's hard to see because this is this lawnmower is from 1968 and been painted and crusty, but right here's your model number for your ancient snappers. Give you an idea of where I'm at. There's the main tube that goes to the front. The lighting is horrible and I apologize. There's your tire, the edge of your deck. This right here, if this was an electric start motor mower, this is where the battery would go give you an idea of where I'm at. But I think that's about all we can do out here. Oh, and of course a Troy Belt pressure washer. I don't know enough about Honda engines to know where the model number is. I could not find it. But right here, try to get in there a little bit closer. There's your model number for the pressure washer. Just obvious right here on the plate. Hopefully that model number will get you to the engine. I'm not sure. I've never had to buy a part for it knock on wood. So, out here to the more modern snapper. This is the scrapyard snapper that was for parts. It's been through a flood. Now some of these snappers will have a little white tag on this back plate here with the model number on them. Some of the more... Series 23 I know does. This is a Series 21. Again, your model number for the engine is slightly different on this unit. It's stamped on top of the blower housing here. For ones that are older than this, they will be stamped on this back edge back here. On the back of the blower housing. You'll have numbers stamped in with your model number. The model number of this mower is... It's going to be hard to see where it's at, but it's on the tube. It goes from the back to the front. That's your sticker right there. If I pull back a little bit, this is where your battery goes. So, give me an idea of where that's at. Okay, let's see. One more I can show real quick. Which isn't going to be real interesting because it's basically the same. The Racing Murray. Model number for it. It's a service tag right here under the seat. You can see it right there in front of you model number. And they're also kind enough to put one under the hood too. If you look right here, there's a whole bunch of parts numbers and model numbers. and Very handy little thing. It's kind of nice how, how well Walmart did on a cheapo lawnmower. Makes it simple. And again, this one's just about the same series as the last one, so it's got the plate with your, with your, um, I'm upside down, sorry about that. Model, type, code. And like I was saying before, I can show it better on this engine. On an older one, your code, model number, and all that info will be stamped in back here. Of course, this one don't have any stamps because it's newer. 
there's your plug give you an idea of where I'm at on the engine on this cover right here it'll be stamped in an older model anyways now let's go to the computer and try to find some parts okay now we are in the house in front of my computer and I have parts tree brought up parts tree is a good source for parts people constantly ask me where to get parts so here's how we do it see they got brands for all kinds of stuff mostly lawn equipment so we're going to go up here search by model number and for an example I'm going to use my mom's mower which I got to order parts for which is a 331523KVE and if no one knows what that, no snapper freaks know what that number means, it's 33 inch cut, 15 horsepower, series 23, Kohler vertical engine. That is how modern snapper model numbers are done. So we'll hit the search button. And I get a bunch of choices. I apologize for the lighting. I don't think it's too bad. It looks decent on my phone. So, snapper, 33 inch riding mower, 15 horsepower. You can compare that number, but I believe they are all the same. Don't hold me to that. E is a European version, I know that much. So, there we go. We have parts, diagrams, accessories, attachments, blades, cutting decks, blah, blah, blah. It's all here. See, parts diagrams, these are handy even if you're not buying parts, if you need to take it apart and work on it, because you have exploded diagrams. What is this? This is rail at, ugh, sorry, excuse me, rails lift, cam lift for the deck. You see you can blow this up full screen, and if you're taking this apart and wonder, wondering where this part goes here, well, right here it shows you, you know, where it goes and what it bolts to, and you know, if you end up if you're tinkering with one and you're like, what the heck's this do? Well, you can possibly match it up with this picture and that would be a big help. But, people are wanting part numbers. So, let's just go here. Say we want the part number for, I don't know, let's go with something more obvious. There's your gear shifter assembly. What's the part number of that gear shift knob? When parts tree see the little circle, I can click on the circle and that shows me right here. It's $4.03. That's the original part number. That's the superseded part number. And it's $4.03 and in stock. The new remote mowers you can find just about any part you want, although it will probably be superseded. It's the same thing. It's usually most of the time on metal parts, the differences are painted black instead of red. Of course, Briggs and Stratton bought out Snapper, so, you know, there you go. So, we can click on this and look at it. Well, if it'll load. Come on, load you bastard. Of course, it's going to make a liar out of me. Apparently, the router took a crap, but anyways... Here we go, there's a shifter, the part numbers. Now you can get tricky, you can buy it from these people, of course they're going to charge you shipping and tax. Or you can be sneaky, copy and paste the number, you know, your favorite website, whatever you choose to use. eBay sometimes has good deals. You can try Amazon if you shop with those buttholes. And just paste the number in here. Here's the part number. Search. It was $4.99 on that website. And right here is $6.50 with free shipping. So if that was the only thing you needed, that would probably be a better deal. See, six four, that's not a good deal. I mean, you can look through by the part number. See, for this one, I used the original part number. We can go back here to the other tab here and use the superseded number and search by that. Sometimes you'll find a different deal for that. So, paste, search. 
Sorry if I'm cutting shit out of the shot. I'm literally doing this with one hand, holding the phone in one and talking and doing it with the other. But see, you can find all kinds of stuff. There's the whole assembly used. But, you know, just to give you an idea of where you can find parts. So we've established how to get on parts tree, how to find parts, where the diagrams are. And we can do another model just for just for the sake of discussion. 3080, that's the 1968 snapper that is in the shed. I get a bunch of engines with this. So we'll go riding mowers. Right there it is. Of course, being from 1968, there's not a lot of information and a lot of stuff is no longer available. So this is where it gets interesting. So let's say for the sake of discussion, we'll go with the decks. I know these parts are no longer available. I mean, as you can see, if I bump something, I'm just screwed because you can't even get a spindle for this lawnmower anymore. I wonder what part number it is. Tolerance ring. There's a good one. I believe I left that part off my 1968 snapper when I did the deck, put a new spindle in it. I got one of the last ones off of eBay. I paid way too much for it, but that lawnmower is a labor of love. I got way too much money in it. Anyways, but there's your part number. And you can click on it. And go up here, copy, and paste and search for it. And I'm not finding anything that looks... Anyways, just to give you an example. But there's your part number right there. That's how to find part numbers. Let's find another one for an example. Notice I'm on partstree.com. I'll put my model number in as I showed. Spindle pulley, why not? And again, there's my part number. There's the superseded number. You can search for that. So I think that's enough with parts tree. They're pretty good. Of course, you know, same. Another interesting one, and you're going to be surprised at this because Sears is a dying company. But Sears Parts Direct. Although I've not had much luck buying stuff from them. I try to throw money to them. I hate to see them go under. I tried to buy the deck wheels for the for the Craftsman LT1000 and three months later I had to ask for a refund because they couldn't get me a de set of deck wheels but anyways you will find sometimes that they have better diagrams and more selection on here we'll use the series 23 again because I know that one seems like I'm always working on that mower and you see, again, you have parts diagrams. I like Sears parts diagrams. I think they're slightly better. See, like I've got electrical diagrams. There's just more of a selection here. Even though their parts are high. And that's if you can get them. But I'm just listing it here as an alternative source. Right? In case you parts direct. In case parts tree doesn't have what you want or... You want to look at a different diagram. Some of them are different on here. Most of them are the same. You know, it's, it, it's worth a try. We'll leave it at that. So, and another way to find parts. Very easy way to do it. And this doesn't just work for Snapper. I've done it for cars, OEM Ford parts, OEM Acura parts. You'll usually come up with, a, just type that in your search engine and you'll come up with a part, with a website. That first one, Snapper Parts Distributors, will send you to this one. See, I went through this yesterday. I didn't go into this blind. So, okay. We're on this page. So, rear engine rider. Lawnmower parts. Disc drive mower parts. If that's what you have. I'm, I'm still using Moms as an example. Select model. 
which is going to take forever to dig through here. This website's a bit of a pain. Let's see, 3314 KVE. You don't want to watch me dig through this, so we'll just pick a random one. So you can see it. Seems like maybe they were a smidge cheaper on parts and parts tree comparing prices. But I don't know. I've bought from, I think I've bought from this company before. And again, you're back to diagrams. So let's just click on one here. And again, you know, you got your part. Your diagram that's interesting it's one of the ones with the square tube what is that it's a series 25 series 16 so this is an older mower from the 90s probably but again let's see the logo for the steering wheel there's your part number so there's your root part replaces that's your original part number there's your new part number. So there you go. That is how you find part numbers for these mowers and lawn equipment. Um, you, the same thing applies to electronics and appliances. Although you ought to find your model number. You know you're on your own on that one. I ain't going to go through every appliance in the house. I already went through all the lawn equipment. But anyways... Very proud of all of my subscribers, under 450 subscribers for my low quality videos. And yes, I am aware they are low quality. This is not a professional production. We are not paid to do this. We are trying to help you out. I have noticed in tinkering with stuff, some of the most help that I have got has been from underground crappy, the crappiest videos you could imagine that make mine look like a five star production. It's not about the production, it's not about the quality, it's about helping people and showing people how to do stuff that a lot of people apparently don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for all the kind words and comments, and hopefully we can come up with something soon. I have another idea for a video, I'm not sure how it's going to go over. It would be an epic one if I did it, about five parts long. See, like I said, a lot has changed in this last year. I give up cigarettes after 25 years. If anybody wants to hear my stop smoking story, it's going to be a long convoluted one. But I'll put it up here if someone wants to hear it. Just drop it in the comments. Let me know. Thanks for watching and more to come later. And if you can come up with the setup, let me show you my computer setup. That is a 43-inch smart TV. Old laptop, which is under there. Model M keyboard. If you can get, TVs make great computer monitors. You can see it from a mile away. I love this setup. So, you know, just a little hint if you, you want to go with something like this. It is an awesome setup. Thanks for watching. More to come later.